Good, good, good. Well, I should be out here competing tonight against Louis Paradise. But unfortunately, due to injury, Louis had to pull out. So, I think that means we'll get to go on, Bailey. Yeah. Do you want to see me compete? Yeah. It's unanimous. Do you want to see an academy title match? Yeah. Even better. Anyone? Can I UK give me a locker room? Pass it, come take a shot. Let's go. Be that laying down the gauntlet. That'd be a good old open challenge. Well, I'll be at this challenger. Yeah, it's right. As I was saying, you know, I mean, we're supposed to face Louis Paradise Ripper here. Um, due to injuries, that's pulled out. So I don't think he was expecting this. Man. So, of all the people in that locker room, you can take this away from me. <laughs> Easy. 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 Weren't you the guy who won't be by missing last month? I think Edward Crowley would rather forget that moment. I was prepared for that match. I was prepared for a And you know that so well. So and you're so bringing it up now. I'm still in it. Well, I'm ready. Bobby, are you ready? The Undertaker reject. Looks like he's ready. Let's go. Well, if Edward Crowley got into all that beat's head, you wouldn't think it. The UK Wrestling Academy Championship. LRB! 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 LRB has his competition. And this is for the Academy Championship. LRB defends against Edward Crowley. In the opening of Mayhem, new beginnings. Strong tie up now, Edward Crowley looking to gain the immediate advantage side of what? Technical display from LRB. Crowley seeking solace in the top rope. Shut up! I think I think well, the only one that has a an issue psychologically here is, is Crowley at the moment. He seems to be easily rattled. Definitely, he's, his head's clearly not in the game right now. Very much you would think in an open challenge. It's Crowley with the advantage. Right, he's on the right. Well, at the right moment, he is trying to find those ropes to break that front face lock. LRB taking him to the ground with some nice technical wrestling. Crowley might want to adjust his game plan here. I open LRB straight into the takedown, single leg. And now working on that left leg on the knee. He certainly vertically has the advantage. Well, when he's on his back, he's just as small as everybody else. Yeah. Oh, well, once again. He certainly has the power. Oh, oh, Crowley sent to the corner. Yeah. Calling to the LRB, he's blocking that corner. And he did not connect, but his head did connect with that top turn buckle. Yeah. The advantage that he was after. Although I'm not, it's not the most technically astute hold I've ever seen, but it, it did some damage. Pulling on the head, putting pressure on the neck of the champion. Oh, yes, we were saying earlier, LRB was never scheduled to defend his title here today. His opponent dropped out. So LRB thinking the fighting champion that he is certainly shows what kind of champion he is, I think. He throws the title on the line, issues an open challenge. Crowley comes out and answers that challenge. Multiple <laughs> monthly scene shots as well here at UKW. Title changing hands left, right and centre. Maybe Crowley's looking to cash in. I think well. Crowley must look at the last show as, as sort of a, an inspiration for him to take that championship tonight. Anything can happen here in UK wrestling. Crowley mounting off at the official. I don't know. I think that's going to do him much good, really. He should be focusing now on LRB. He's not looking too good in there. 
It's not looked the same since he missed that splash. Edward Crowley, shoulders down, will that be all? No. Champion shoulders out of it. Trying to get this crowd behind him. Shoot down there, just with a massive kick to the shoulder flexes there. And certainly the crowd can be a strategy in themselves for LRB. Looking how easily enraged Edward Crowley becomes. He needs to get gain his bearings, get back in that ring. Edward Crowley giving him a helping hand, so to speak. Bringing him in head first there. Crowley burying that shin deep in the ribs there. Following up with a stun. The champion looking visibly shaking here. Oh, must have heard that obnoxious laugh there from Crowley. That hasn't spurred him on yet though. Short arm clothesline, both shoulders down again. Crowley once again cannot get that, that pinfall he so desperately wants. It's the orthodox pinning style as well from Crowley. Throws all his weight onto the shoulders, obviously. Opens up the legs for a kick out, but certainly a lot of energy used up doing so. Exactly, Crowley's a big, big man. It takes a lot of power to get him off the shoulders. Oh, Crowley staggered a little bit. Oh, where did that come from, from LRB? We've got both men down here, LRB. Slight advantage now, if he can get to his feet. Andrew Crowley staggered. Crowley in that corner now, the challenger. Just a little rattled by that manoeuvre from LRB. Irish went to the corner. The pain that LRB is currently in right now, you saw. Lack of energy there when throwing into the corner. Tom hates the LRB's plan. Looks up with a bulldog. Terrific combination move from LRB. Despite the ribs obviously hurting the had to be a sacrifice for himself, there's a cover, and the near fall, the champion almost retaining. Crowley knows what's on the line in this, title belt on the line, using everything in power to kick out of that, and he's taking a lot of energy for LRB to pick Crowley off the canvas, it's the ropes and LRB, can he get him up, he's got him up there on the shoulders, what are you looking for here? He's You've got to admire LRB for even being able to attempt that move. Modified net breaker, dropping the head over the knee. Could be all no, and his shoulder up. Just about Crowley throwing his arm up in the air was enough to roll that shoulder ever so slightly to stop that referee count. That's looking for his aim pressure here. It could well be. This could be the finish. This could be the final blow for Edward Crowley. Looking for the ice crusher, does not connect. Back up the walls and the big boot flushing the jaw of the champion from Edward Crowley. Are we going to see a new champion? There's that pinning. Oh, and again. Different style that time, just driving the forearm across the face there, you're right. Crowley attributing the official slow counting to the fact he's not champion right now. That, could, that is debatable. Crowley, another boot. And more of yeah. the style kick there. And a, oh, and again a two count. You can see the desperation seeping, seeping out of Edward Crowley with each cover. Crowley the drives him to become the two-time champion that he is. He's got to get out the face of the official if he wants to win this. He's going for a third kick. He missed with that one. He's got it. He got it. LRB puts the leg. And wins the match. Another one of the legends from the UK wrestling former champion.
part of San Seo and they, after the bell has sounded here, a lot of noise here for Skip. Curious as to why he wouldn't want to get in the ring with Tom Steele. He was impressive against Mustafa Khan. Fully capable. His reign as Academy champion is proof of that. But once again, Barker wanting to get on with this in his own time. The opportunism right there. Barker was biding his time for that moment where he could catch Tom Steele unawares. Steele is gutsy and spirited. He's going to need to be that tonight. Negotiation of the Irish whip into a clothesline, but met with a big boot to follow. Quick glimpse of what he can do. Nice snap suplex by Barker, floats into the cover in one movement. Gets a two count. Well, that kick could be heard in all four corners of the building. All that assault there on the ribs of Steele, who going to struggle to breathe after that. He's trying to fight back but to no avail. Ellis Barker's records here hold him in high acclaim. But right now the referee just adjusting that pad on request of Barker using that bandana for what it wasn't intended for. Choking out still. Knee to the face, another lateral press, a little nonchalant, isn't going to get the job done. Barker wanting a three. He'll get a three when it is a three. Still enthusiastically fighting back here. Take him so far, but that alone doesn't. Steele hit with a backdrop there. Barker once again in the ascendancy. Again a nonchalant lateral press and again a two count. Barker hooking the leg this time. Steele wise to that immediately. Able to kick out. But so far, the impetus is with Ellis Barker. And he buries that boot deep into the chest. In the rope for leverage, referee lenient on that. And now he's got him by the hair, that's going to have to be stopped. He may not like how he does it, but it's certainly effective. Ellis Barker, but look at Steele fighting back with everything he's got, with every strike he's got in the arsenal. Great use of Barker's elevation there for the drop kick. Hooks underneath, floats around, DDT. Barker planted face first. Top roll. Yeah. Oh, Neck breaker. What's the leg? Is that? No, it isn't. Oh. A real sign there of what Tom Steele is capable of doing. And Steele is weighing up his options here. Plants Barker with a strong forearm, but Barker going through the ropes to the outside. That may be a bad break for Steele. Referee begins to count here. Barker on the outside. And Tom Steele looking to fly. Cannonball puncher over the top rope. Terrific athleticism from Tom Steele. But he may have done so at some cost here. Count has begun here. We're on three already. We're now on four. Barker stirring, trying to get himself in a position under that bottom row, but Steele meets him with the right hand, but scores. 
Second one does not. Barker retaliates with a forearm. And now running steel into the barricade. And this is eight. This is we're at nine and Barker's not even looking at the count here. It's over. It's over. Well, Barker's Barker's savagery here. This is a no contest match. His insistence to make Steele suffer on the outside has been his downfall. This is now a no contest, sadly. Damn it, Barker, this is over. This is over. This is a no contest. No thanks to you. Barker. Give for that pump and the right to sit out. Oh, this is ridiculous. That, that he's counted his own three. That's not going to go in the record books. Well, Barker, it's a count out. It was a count out. You could have stopped. What the hell is Barker? What the hell is Barker playing at? The official's just doing his job. Barker, no dignity or class whatsoever. And for a second time, drops steel. That's pathetic on the part of Ellis Barker. Barker's had the wrong attitude from the start. He's struck an official. He's now continuing to stomp on the head. Of Tom Steele, who is defenseless. He wants his music played. He may have bullied the official, he may have bullied Steele. Now he's trying to bully the technical team. Well, this behaviour is deplorable. The official has already been attacked, he's down. Fairly sickening display from Ellis Barker. No respect, no class. You're not going to convince anybody of anything other than your own idiocy, Barker. I won. Barker saying he's won this match but he's won absolutely nothing except the absolute disdain of everyone around him ridiculous Tom Steele on the other hand a great effort kid nothing to be ashamed of Last man standing rules. The only way to beat your opponent is to beat him so badly that he cannot answer a 10 count. There is a dangerous element to this type of contest. These two square off. Last man standing. Nothing technical, nothing fancy, no pinfalls in this. There's something to point out. We're going to make in as great a title as we can see. Yeah. But also, that take this. And he is hanging away on Mustafa Khan in the early going here. Just relentlessly. That onslaught. On the Persian heavyweight champion, Mustafa just trying to. So obviously Mustafa, he's a master of a last man standing match. He is the king of the knockout for a reason. Donovich here going toe to toe with the Sultan of Slams. And right, this is a great hit with round the face. Donovich hanging onto the ropes, hitting the back elbow into the jaw of Khan. Rebound, a Polish hammer there from. Just massive two kind of slides straight to the chest. Sledgehammer sort of impact there. 
across the throat. And that has rattled Radunovic. This match a test of resilience. Down now with Radunovic pinned in the corner. Attacking those ribs with some stiff right hands. Radunovic to the corner, back up. Comes calm with a huge clothesline. Referee beginning the count. Two, timeout. Radunovic asking for timeout from Michael Stafford. I think, uh, I think that's rather optimistic. Calm with the right hand again. And doesn't offer timeouts very, very often, if, I, if at all. It's going to be a chop. You're going to hear a chop. Oh, maybe not. He hit the top buckle. Radunovic saw that coming. Eventually hit it. Open palm strike, knocking down with none of it. Knocking the wind out of him. That'll take all the breath out of your body. The power that Mustafa Khan gets behind those chops is scary. The one he wanted to hit originally. I'm pretty sure right now that Radonovic's chest is the same colour as his top. And we're finding out here. Oh, and there it is. Case in point. Right, right there, the, uh, the skin on Carl's chest is the same colour as that. Turn up! The human anatomy is not designed for that kind of abuse. Donovich hits the, hits the canvas. Referee counting again. Referee looking to a miss of that first 10 count attempt. Which Radonovic has to answer. Oh now. Maybe using the brains, trying to get to the ropes. He has to get up. Unflogged by the Persian heavyweight champion. He's finding his way back to his feet. Using that top rope to aid him. Here comes Khan. Radonovic hang, hanging Mustafa Khan up on that top rope. Just a stun gun there. Looking under the ring for something. Looking for some toys. Sticks in the ring. Kendall sticks that he brought to the ringside. He's looking to tee off on Khan with those Ken that Kendall stick. No, well shot by Khan. One to the back. And now Khan's got the stick. By a flash of Radonovic exposed. No, I think he doesn't need. So he certainly did enough damage with his hands. He doesn't need this thing, just a straight right and knock him down. Go Radonovic. Stafford Khan has got that Kendall stick and maybe, maybe it is time and there's a shot to the back that is wood that's Kendall can you imagine what that feels like meeting skin I can tell you skin didn't win that and now choking Radonovic over that top rope with that the very stick he's just planted across the spine former Academy champion line from Mustafa puts Radonovic back on the mat and the referee begins to count. Just firing out there with that monstrous close line. And Radonovic struggling, trying to get to the ropes perhaps. Carl Radonovic feeling the full force of the rage of Mustafa Khan. And he's just bouncing Radonovic's head off the top turnbuckle. Radunovic introduced to that corner to that turnbuckle with force. And then obviously the back has just been rattled with that kendo stick shot. <laughs> Staffa Khan remains standing tall. Radunovic is struggling to get to his feet. Corner, corner, 
buckle hard again. I was really in that time. Yeah. Mustafa Khan has really brought it tonight. I don't think uh, the fact that Winter came out and to antagonise Khan earlier, I don't think that's done Khan Rodunovic any favours. I think it's wound him up, if anything. Now, once again, we go into those strikes, which he is so effective with. Sidewalk slam. Mustafa Khan. That may well be uh, that may well be all. Paul Rodunovic has got to answer this ten count. You can wait till December, Mustafa. Mustafa Khan. Looking unstoppable at this moment. Can Madonovic answer this count? We are now we are now on eight here, Lawrence. And oh wait a minute. Madonovic is still searching around here for something, anything. Can't get up. No, Madonovic is up to a foot here. He's up to one foot here. I think he's. I think that count's been broken. He's he's got himself a weapon. He was very close to the ten count there. And Cara done it. He's got a mop. Mop to the abdomen. Donovic just snaps right off. The bend in that mop. Thank you very much. Oh, we're kind of trapped here like rats. I don't think this is a, a safe environment to be in. Donovic, who was almost defeated with that last count, is suddenly now, is that cleaning him from him, taking apart Mustafa. Just the bend of that first, sorry, that second striker over the back. And a massive dent in that mop. Because again, this time, he broke the mop over the back. A clean break. Mustafa Khan, his huge frame, contributing to that weapon, being snapped in half and now still the Dunovic using it now, using that broken part of the weapon to his advantage. Repeatedly, banging it off the back of Mustafa Khan. Finding that mop is, is what has really brought him back into this match. Just finding the nearest weapon he could find to, to attack Mustafa. He's got his kendo stick eventually. He was on the wrong end of this earlier. Now he's headbutting the stick into the head. Combination of cranium and wood. has propped up that stick, kicking it into the rim, boo, right to the face, and the, as you pointed out, the wood, connecting directly to the throat of Mustafa Khan. This match, anything can happen, anything goes. Right now, the fans are getting up close and personal with these two. We're going to be asking for this fight. Sorry, asking for the referee to count must have to count down. Khan still managing to to crawl, but he has been beaten down here with a variety of things. And now Rodonovic on the apron. Looking yeah. to drop himself to the hard wooden floor. Right? Looking for a sense on, but found nothing but floor. There is no give. Carl Rodonovic looking to up the risk and failing. And I'll just both men being counted out. That unforgiving ground is, is not going to do you. The back end of the kendo shot to the midsection, and this is becoming 
a hostile environment to say the least, Mustafa can't tee enough. Smashing that stick off the flesh, and now the back of the neck. This has turned ugly very, very quickly. As you said, Mustafa Khan is teeing off. Khan has destroyed Radunovic with that kendo stick. The referee starting his count. Radunovic trying to use Mustafa Khan to climb to his feet. What looking to do here. It's Khan looking to put him away. Scoop slam from a great height. Mustafa Khan going now. I mean, how that must have felt on that already beaten down back of Karl Radonovic. And he's back to the kendo stick. And he's got both of them. Both of them at the same time now. Doesn't seem good. Well, one was bad enough. Oh, that's straight to the head. I don't know how wise a decision it was for Karl Radonovic to bring those sticks out here now. Both of them to the head. That might be why he's called the king of the knockout. Radonovic could be out here. I wager we're on to four now. Radonovic has to, has to stir himself to his feet here. Focus on your mark. Doing you a favour. Safa Khan still gesturing to Lawrence Breeze about the ruling the winter. Right now he needs to focus on Radunovic and he's taking everything out on Carl Radunovic. Oh, the kendo stick shot. I don't know how many more of these he can take. Down to the knee. I think you feel the, the, the fire in, in Mustafa Khan here, Lawrence. I really do. I think he sees coming winter in Carl Radunovic right now. Possibly so. Okay. Oh, 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 Mustafa Khan not going to turn down a fight. Oh, oh, I think oh, Henry Winter has got in his head earlier today, and that's why Kyrie oh, is having such a beating right now. And he's he's having his own weapons used against him. What's he looking to do here? Oh, oh. oh what a slap! No, that and look at the rage. Mustafa Khan does kind of sticks on the mat and the scoop slam onto the sticks. How Carl Radunovic has any feeling in his back right now is a mystery. Carl trying to move. Mustafa Khan. I mean, this is, this is tremendous resilience, it's tremendous amazing. heart, but... And Khan just stamping on the back of his head. I'm wondering whether Radonovic actually regrets, do, regrets this decision now. He went for the elbow and missed and hit the, the kendo sticks. Both men down right now. We've got a double count going here. Carl Radunovic has just given himself an opportunity, given himself some time, but he has to get to his feet. Carl the first to his feet, but using Mustafa Khan to prop himself up. And this is a slugfest now. Both men. These, these just these strikes. Exchanging offense. There is time between each blow that the, the fatigue has got to be setting in. Both of them back down to a knee. And both have got those. Both got stakes in the hand. And, those sticks and, and this is becoming a battle. Trading shots here. And, and perhaps. How far are these guys going to go? We're good at it. We're the oh, a double shot. And the, both men are down again here. The staff of Khan and Carl Radonovic. Something has got to give here. Carl's slowly starting to get up to his knees. 
pass though, Lina is back. To his credit, Radunovic is up first. And he's urging the big man to face him. That's why he's got to continue that count, but I think... Hey, he's not out of vertical base yet. He's up to the knees and Radunovic with a drop kick to the face. It's going to break the, it's going to break the count, but... The count begins again, but uh, Carl this time with a weapon in hand. Carl Radunovic wants to finish this and make sure that he slayed the giant. And he's looking for a choke. He's looking to choke out the king of knockouts. Mustafa Khan being choked out here with that kendo stick. Carl using the rules as well as he did telling the referee, nothing you can do, this is all legal. And he's completely right. Oh, see that grief? See that? See that? That with the kendo stick shot. Two! Look at that. That confidence is coming back. Three! The welts are. Visible on the back of Carl Radunovic, but he has found a second wind here. And Carl just, just telling the referee to stop counting in while Carl's wielding that weapon. He wants to inflict more punishment. He wants to inflict the same punishment, if not more, than what Mustafa Khan inflicted on him earlier. Is there a wiki wiki here? Oh, he's tight. Oh, he's tight. Elbow straight into the sternum. With Mustafa Khan. Those sticks have been used to great effect. Three. Mustafa Khan, so dominant earlier on, is now in a position where he's on the brink of losing this match. Oh, count seven, and Mustafa's only just begun to move again. Those counts are getting higher each time. You know what? I want you guys to get a good look at this. Radonovic, almost like the executioner, hanging that stick over, oh, hitting with full, full force. Oh. Oh. That stick breaking off. Like two. Oh. Three. Oh. Kind of struggling here. It's hell bent, putting Mustafa Khan out. For good. Straight to the ear with that kendo stick. I'm surprised he can hear the screams in, in it right now, telling him to stay down. But Mustafa Khan is going to never give up. As long as he's breathing in and out. Khan will not be staying down. If he, as you mentioned, Ed, as long as he's still breathing, it's fighting Mustafa Khan. You're not going to see Khan fold up his tent easily. Radunovic is going to have to do more. Khan is up at seven. Make that eight. Radunovic has got those sticks. That is a shot that has knocked out many people. He's really just done that. The king of the knockouts with that vicious spin kick. Carl may have gone to sleep right now. Radunovic has barely moved since that kick. He needs to... We are on six. Has Mustafa Khan put away Karl Radunovic with that spinning back kick? Or maybe not. Maybe looking for this choke slam that put many people away. He's looking for that choke slam. This one. Maybe this is Mustafa so Khan's moment. With the stick in hand. Radunovic walks in. He's got him by the throat. No, wait a minute. That was low. That was low. All legal in this environment, though. Carl Radunovic's desperation, low blow. I felt sure that Mustafa Khan was going to hit that chalk slam, but. Radunovic had other ideas, other ideas going downstairs. Radunovic looking to do here. Just laying Khan over them kendo sticks. 
increased pressure if he hits this. Carl Radunovic looking for that centre. Only found the sticks. And the pin. Angles on the face of Carl Radunovic. Mustafa Khan rolls out the way. But can he answer? Can he get up before the referee gets to 10? Can't fight both men. Well, half way there. We're going to be rolling. Both men have been through so much punishment. They both need the ropes to get to their feet. They're on eight. Khan's up. Khan is, Khan is up. Khan's both up as well. Mustafa Khan. There's a choke slam. That massive choke slam. That could be it. Second attempt at the choke slam. Finally connects from Mustafa Khan, but is it going to put away Karl Radunovic? Can Karl Radonovic answer that 10 count? Oh, he's moving. We're on eight. There's nine. Wait a second. Oh, wait a minute. Is it, is it, oh, that, was a brain, smart, that was a smart move. The feet, as soon as the feet touched the floor, he was the count was broken. And again, he strikes. You can feel it. Oh, it's become personal. Sticks. Could that be. Has gotta be it. The end for Karl Radonovic. And more importantly, Lawrence, he is in the centre of the ring this time. Karl has not moved. Nine. Nine. We're on nine. We're on nine. There's a ten. Carl and Dunnevich, and a last man standing match. Mustafa Khan! What a show from Mustafa Khan. Obviously, dished out abuse to begin with. They took some abuse. I don't have a wherewithal to fire out that last short slam. Persian heavyweight champion took out his frustrations. Current UKRS tag team champion as well. What a match. As physical as you're ever likely to see.